Long story short on this video is that 8 by 57 millimeter IS, 7.92 millimeter Mauser, 8 millimeter Mauser, 8 by 57 JS, and rounds like this one, which are the same shape as the others, but labeled 7.92 millimeter, are all capable of being fired in the same rifles, given that the rifle is strong enough to handle it. However, if you want more details and the history of these naming designations, stay tuned. You may want to do that because there are some rounds that might sound similar, but are in fact different. Let's get into the history. You're probably used to bullets looking a lot like this one with a pointed tip at the end and not making quite as much contact with the barrel. However, in 1888, the Germans contracted the commission rifle and with it a round called Patronin 88. Now that rifle, you may know it as the Gewehr 88 or the Gewehr 1888 as the year that it was adopted. So this round is a Turkish training round with a wooden bullet. However, what this round clearly demonstrates is what a bottlenecked round looks like. So this whole length right here would contact the barrel and the point is rounded. This bullet will generally be heavier but have a lower velocity and it will make more contact with the barrel which means more pressure will build. The round that looks like this one but that I don't have would be either called 7.9I or infantry but today the more common designation is 8x57I or 8x57J. We'll talk about the I versus J thing later in the video. However, sometime around 1904 or 1905, the Germans began transitioning to a Spitzer bullet that would actually look almost exactly like this one. These old Czech rounds, from what I've read, uh, fairly closely mimic the World War I German ammunition, which was being used at that point. The Germans adopted this round as S Patron. However, it was also called 7.9 IS. That I stands for the German word for infantry, and the S stands for that German word Spitzer, which means a pointed bullet. The most common term for the military designations of these rounds is 7.9 mm. So if you look at this box of Turkish ammo, that's where that wooden round came from. It says 7.9. And if we look at this Yugoslavian box, it says 7.9 mm. Uh, you can see it is actually a comma, not a point, but they meant point. Some countries just use commas instead of periods, so when I say 7.9, 7, 7 comma 9 is the same thing. However, like we can see on this Bulgarian box, 7.92 mm is very common as well. So for the first part of the name, the most common thing you will see is 7.9 and 7.92. Sometimes the military will include mm afterwards, but like we see on this Turkish box, not always. However, as you can see from these three boxes, as well as the name of this channel, in the military market, what is most common is to say eight millimeter. That is at least true in the United States. However, this box is Portuguese and it says the same thing as well. This is my Yugoslavian 2447. And if we look at the import markings right here, you can see eight mm or eight millimeter. So that is where these three designations come from. 7.9 was the original military designation. 7.92 was frequently used by militaries, although 7.9 still remained the most common. And then eight millimeters started being used on the commercial market. Now, as far as I know, and from my experience, I've never seen a military round labeled eight millimeter or eight by 57, but I'm not going to say they are not out there. Another thing that you will often see is the by 57 designation in the middle. What that by 57 designation is doing is it is just making sure you know that this is the same eight millimeter round because there are some other eight millimeter rounds. 57 millimeters is the distance from right here on the back of the case to right here on the front of the case. It is the case length. Now I know of at least one military round that is a little bit shorter, but since this round had spaces off of the neck of the case, it doesn't actually cause any problems. Now let's talk about the suffix IS, JS, or Mauser. Now you will recall that we said earlier that this round was designated 7.9 IS. That I means infantry and the S means Spitzer in German. So that is why this box says 8 by 57 IS. That IS stands for infantry Spitzer. But, and this is pretty funny to me, and I've heard that it was the Americans who did this, which seems like something that we would do, but I don't actually know that for certain. But somebody saw those German boxes with their stylized IS, and thought that it said JS, and that name just stuck. So there's absolutely no difference between 8x57JS and 8x57IS. 
it is all just a misunderstanding due to font choice. However, in the civilian market, we started seeing 8mm Mauser used. Mauser was the name of the man who designed rifles like this one, which were often chambered in this caliber. But there were some other Mauser rounds, such as 7mm Mauser and 7.65 Mauser. Those were not terms used in the military, but they were terms used in the civilian market to label rounds that came from the similar family. So those Mauser rounds are by 57 rounds. They use the same, uh, the same style of case. So this is 8x57, but there also is 7x57 and 765x57. All three of those can be referred to by their number and Mauser. So there is no difference between 8, 7.9, and 7.92. The by 57 is just labeling the case size, so you can see that on all three. And there is no difference between IS, JS, and Mauser except that Mauser is a designation that can apply to other rounds as well. However, if there is an 8mm in front of it, it is the same as these, it's just a commercial designation. Much like I have never seen a military round labeled 8mm, I've never seen a military round labeled Mauser. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, I'm just saying that I personally have not seen it. Now, let's talk about some similar rounds that you don't want to get confused by. As a reminder, if this is 8x57, this one is called 8x57 I or J. There is no S. That no S means that it is not a spitzered round. So if you see a round labeled 8x57 I or 8x57 J, you should not fire that in a normal 8mm Mauser rifle. If you don't notice that when you see the box, you should be able to notice it by looking at the bullet itself. Right now, I should also note that you should not fire a spitzered bullet in a rifle chambered for this round. That's because this round is much higher pressured, so it might damage this rifle. The bottlenecked rounds and the spitzered rounds are not cross-compatible in either direction. Another round you might see is 8x57 JRS. Now, I don't have one of those to show you, but what I do have is a 7.62x54R round. So that R in JRS stands for a rimmed round, meaning that it is rimmed and the rim exceeds the width of the case. Whereas normal 8x57 is rimless, 8x57 JRS is rimmed. Again, just like the other rounds, that might be called JRS, it might be called IRS, but the important letter is that R. One last similar German round to talk about is 8mm Kurtz, also known as 8mm Short, or 7.92 by 33. 7.92 by 33 is the round that the Sturmgewehr 44 is chambered in. So this is a full-powered rifle round, but the 7.92 Kurtz is a assault rifle round. It's a lot shorter and a lot less powerful. That round shouldn't chamber in this gun, and if it chambers, you probably shouldn't fire it because there will be a bunch of extra space in the chamber, but this round definitely won't chamber in a 7.92 Kurtz gun. Just for a comparison of what I'm talking about, this 7.62 by 54R is a full-length rifle cartridge, and this 7.62 by 39 is an assault rifle cartridge for an AK-47. You can see it's quite a bit smaller and quite a bit shorter, even though the bullet diameter is the same. And the bullet for this one is quite a bit smaller. The same is true for 8mm Kurtz to 8mm Mauser. So the next time somebody asks you a question about 8x57 IS, 8mm Mauser, 8x57JS, 7.92x57mm, or any other variation thereof, you can send them this video. I am 8mm Mauser Man, and I could change my channel name to 8x57mm IS Man, I'm just not going to. But I lived on. Which proves it's hard to get the best of a man named John. Name John.